All right, today is uh, Monday, August 27th of 2012. Don't know if you guys know about this, but you know how when it comes to uh, illegal aliens, immigration, where, whatever you want to call it, that <clears throat> most people seem to be focused on Latino folks from south of the border. Yeah, okay, we know. Well, here's a thing that's been going on now. I don't know for how long, but this nice little racket here seems to uh, have been going on for quite a while. And what it is, is it's called birth tourism. And what they've been doing is they have been flying in pregnant females from all over Asia, I think primarily Communist China, of course, and they set them up here in the United States at hotels or birth centers or whatever you want to call it. And they keep them there until they give birth. And once they give birth, of course, the kid gets automatic United States citizenship. So then they load them up on planes and they fly them back to Asia or China. And what they do when they get there is they raise them up under the communist system. They raise them to be loyal, uh, nationalistic, and patriotic towards communism and, and China or whatever country it is, third world country that they uh, are raised in. Now, <clears throat> what that means is that later on in life, they will come back to the United States. And that means they can run for office, they can be appointed United States Supreme Court justices, they can have the highest office or offices in the land and government and business and education, so forth and so on. Okay. So this is what they've been doing. Um, while everybody's been focused with uh, folks from south of the border, okay? Well, guess what, folks? It gets a little bit better because, if I can just find it here, here is uh, today's article. Uh, links are going to be down below, of course. But it turns out that now they don't need to fly them to the United States to give birth and get U.S. citizenship. What it turns out, according to this news article here, is they don't even have to leave Asia now. All they do is they fly to the uh, island of um, Saipan. Okay, Saipan is a U.S. territory off the coast of China, I believe. So that now they're just giving them a, a, a short plane flight to Saipan, they give birth, and they give them U.S. citizenship. Isn't that nice? All legal, nothing you can do about it, you can't stop them. Okay? Can't deport them, blah, 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 blah. So, what the socialists and the communists have been doing all across the um, globe, all across Western countries, of course, is uh, flooding the Western countries with illegal aliens and, of course, legal immigration. And uh, <clears throat> what they're doing is they're, they're sculpting the world to turn it completely global, socialist, and communist. This has been the plan all along. This is why I've said <clears throat> the New World Order is nothing more than global communism. Now, eventually, you're going to be outnumbered, okay? They're just going to keep flooding and flooding and flooding the countries until you're eventually outnumbered. <clears throat> now, according to this article here, it turns out that roughly between 62% and, I think it's, yeah, and 82, between 62 and 82% of um, Asian folks in this country vote Democrat. You see how you see how they're doing it, folks. You see you see how they're rigging the system, okay? Um, and let's jump across to um, <clears throat> Europe, and this is an article that dates back to 2009, 
uh, to where I believe they got their hands on some of the Labor Party's uh, documents. I, I guess that's the right word. And what it uh, confirms, I mean, everybody suspected it, but what it confirms is that the Labor Party, that would be um, the... Uh, That would be the British equivalent of the U.S.'s uh, Democratic Party. And uh, anyway, what their own papers confirm is that they deliberately flooded the United Kingdom and pretty much Europe too with immigrants. And why is that? It's going to be the same answer every time, folks, because they, they vote socialist. <clears throat> so there it is, folks. Uh, just thought you'd like to know that. And by the way, with Saipan, I saw a, um, a documentary once that was interesting to where <clears throat> what it is is that the, uh, the, the slave master CEOs uh, that have companies on Saipan and what they've been doing is <clears throat> flying in Chinese slave labor. Uh, a lot of them are under the age of 18, so it's child slave labor. Uh, to do their their thing there and what they get in return is they get to put a nice little label on their products that says made in the USA uh, how patriotic when in fact it's all Chinese slave labor that's flown in from uh, communist China so <clears throat> um, there we go folks uh, birth tourism uh, you need to be paying attention to this because uh, this is, in my opinion, this is even worse than illegal aliens because <laughs> you can't deport them. They have uh, citizenship. But um, there you go. That's it for now. And uh, thanks for watching. And just one more quick note. Think about it logically. How many members of the Communist Party have been allowed to legally immigrate to the United States when the, uh, when the wall came down, right? Last 20 years. Uh, how, how many communists and socialists and Marxists have been allowed to legally immigrate to this country? Ever think about that? Communists from China? Right? How many of those have been allowed to legally come in here and set up shop? Anyway, it's enough for now, folks. Take care.